You know, a huge testimony for the Jewish people, and it's fairly well known, that in the early steps of gathering the Jews back to Israel, evangelical Christians had a tremendous part. And yet, sometimes they tell me, I support this thing or, or that thing, you know, different kinds of organizations. My challenge to these friends, and maybe you're one of them, is that the best way to bless Israel is with Jesus. This is what our people truly need. Recently, we've received those three scrolls of Isaiah, Jeremiah, and Ezekiel that were handwritten in Poland in the early part of the 20th century, survived the Holocaust, and finally made their way back to Israel. For us, this is something very emotional. And as we read them, particularly for us in these days, we're meditating on Ezekiel 37, the dry bones that have come together. They've gathered and there's flesh on them. We look around us in the state of Israel, we see this is happening. And so the first part of the prophecy of Ezekiel was fulfilled through the help of Christians. Now we're at the cusp of the spiritual revival. And I'd like to ask you, do you want to stand on the sidelines as God is moving so mightily in this tiny country among this small group of people? Or do you want to take part as God is going to bless the world once again from Israel to the ends of the earth? Will you stand with us in this task? Will you rise up with us in prayer and partnership to believe in God's promises of redemption and join hand in hand proclaiming the hope of Yeshua and become one for Israel?